Pulmonary rehab is the one non-medical intervention you can do to help yourself manage this disease. Um, not the disease, the pre-existing pulmonary fibrosis, but the symptoms that come with it. Um, I encourage every patient um, that's been diagnosed with this to, to seek out pulmonary rehab. That would mean that your physician would have to send an order in for it. It's a medically prescribed uh, program. You're evaluated by pul uh, pulmonologist, uh, physical therapist, respiratory therapist, occupational therapist. Um, so it's a team of people that have um, organized themselves to help you as a patient um, manage your breathlessness, manage your anxiety. Um, nutrition is very important. Um, to manage um, your fatigue, your depression, all of these things are um, allevi alleviated, um, not entirely, um, but are become more manageable with the tools that you learn as a patient um, to get, you know, more awareness of your body and, and how you can and take better care of yourself. Because with this disease, you have to be otherwise healthy. Um, you have to be strong and you have to, you know, eat right, get your sleep, get your vaccines. And all of that comes under the pulmonary rehab. And um, I think a lot of people have a misconception that pulmonary rehab is going to a class and walking on a treadmill when that indeed, um, it may happen but um, that's not the primary focus. It's more of a, a whole body management, which is much, much needed. I feel like any person that's been diagnosed correctly um, should start sooner than later. I mean, there are some data that will come out hopefully soon with more research that keeping large muscles active and stronger um, over time may help decrease fatigue and dyspnea. So the earlier the better and if because then you get your tools that you that hopefully you'll have and use um, especially if you're going to be evaluated for a lung transplant and a, as a part of this disease. Um, rehab is a number one priority for a uh, transplant and um, we call that one prehab. So um, yes, absolutely, get in sooner than better, uh, sooner than later. And um, another thing that's good about doing that is after you've completed your program, um, in the facility, they oftentimes give you a maintenance program or a home program that you just continue, and that becomes a part of your life um, to stay active.